We hit, we hit. Okay. And then we go in again, because it's not enough that you get attacked with dragons multiple, multiple times. I need to make it clear that the dragons are Sky Kings. What's up, Dante? Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, a.k.a. That Villain Jay. And tonight, we have a very special treat for you. Yes, we do. Because we're going in a different direction tonight. We're going dragons. We're going dragon rush. Dragons down. Uh, we actually, uh, aside with a lot of different other tribal support that we've gotten, typal support we've gotten with this OTJ set, we've got some really good dragon combination cards. And some other really cool cards like Great Train Heist and some other things. Reprints like Terror of the Peaks, which is fantastic. And um, some other really cool combinations that I can teach you how to pull off here. So we're going, is it dragons? Yes, is it dragons? There's this little splish splash of blue. It's mostly red, but I'm going to show you why you want to make it is it. Grixis, maybe in the future. Rakdos, maybe in the future. Hang loose, we're going to get to those. Uh, but first, let me show you the first idea that I had with is it dragons. Uh, before we get into it, though, I need you to do something for me, which is, of course, tenderly press that like button, gently press that subscribe button, because if you don't, if you don't press that like and subscribe button, well, you're going to be attacked by the like and subscribe. Oh, yeah, you're, you're going to be viciously ripped apart by YouTube werewolf who doesn't like when you don't press that like button. And subscribe, join the villains today, and join us on a stream every night at twitch.tv slash thatvillainj for all live stream goodness. We would love to have you there live and in person, streaming on Twitch. We want you there. Uh, also, you could just hit the bell and follow us on YouTube. You'll, you'll see us on YouTube as well. Be notified when we go live by hitting the bell. Check out our Discord community for all latest news, information, post your decks, ask questions, post memes, whatever you want in the Discord's best way to communicate. And of course, this deck and all the other ones that I build are available down below on my Aether Hub. So if you want a copy of this one, make sure you go down to the description and get one off the Aether Hub. So what are we talking about when we talk about Dragon Rush? You'll see that it's 61 cards. Why don't you leave a comment telling me why 61 cards, Jay? Because I'm not going to answer you. Um, shore up. I actually started with two of these. This crazy crab guy right here. Uh, his art is red, so I guess he fits. Guys, they're going to be going after your dragons. They're going to go after your high-value targets. Make it not happen. You're going to need to pull off some combo plays. You're going to need to put damage down on the on the table. Make sure they're not able to play the removal on what you have right there. So Shore Up is probably going to be your best bet for protection and instant hexproof. Also, untapping a dragon, a 6-6 dragon or something like that, when they weren't expecting it to block, and all of a sudden it's a 7-7 and it's hexproof, you untap it. All around, pretty tricky card right there, and it is super important to just keep things alive, get things together. Now, Great Train Heist might say that it's only one red right here, but it's a Spree card. This is the new mechanic. Stay tuned to learn about this, okay? So Spree means you have to pay the red, and then you can pay any combination of the stuff listed under Spree. You can pay one of them, you can pay two of them, you can pay all of them if you want, but you have to pay one. So it is one red plus one, choose a target opponent. Um, whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to this player, this turn, uh, create a tap treasure token. So basically, as instant speed, if you do a bunch of damage, if you're about to do like three or four damage or a hit with three or four creatures, you could create three or four treasure. That's a cool one. Or how about everybody gets plus one and first strike into the end of turn? Great for receiving a bunch of uh, blockers or doing a bunch of attacks, and they're not expecting everyone to get pumped up in first strike. The most dangerous one, though, is this. Um, I can't even believe this costs four on as instant speed. Untap all creatures you control. If it's your combat phase, there's an additional combat phase after this phase. Like, we had a last in uh in, in karlov manor we had a crazy mole god who also cost six but he had to attack and he had to be blocked and there was a bunch of different um things to get an extra uh combat phase and he was gruel nope two red two uh two red two of any color instant speed you can just attack again you just get another combat phase in the after this one um as long as it's your combat phase so you could swing in and they're like, well, I'm not going to block. Guess what? There's another combat phase after this one. I'm swinging in again. 
Um, if you have the mana, because you generated a bunch of treasure, you could make everybody get plus one and and have another combat phase and get a bunch of treasure. Ridiculous. Great train heist. Very cool. It certainly lives up to its name. Guys, second combat phase with dragons. What are we even talking about here? Why, do I have to explain why that's good any longer? I shouldn't have to. Chart, of course. Great way to draw some cards. Uh, if you draw two, then discard unless you attack. Yeah, um, there's a lot of options for you right there. You could do the exile off the top of your deck. Um, yeah, you could pretty much do anything that lets you draw cards. Uh, that's what I want. I want at least two card draws in that right there. Um, Ren's Resolve is not a bad idea right there. If you want to do some cards off the top, that's not a bad one either. Uh, some sort of card draw. We want to keep the cards flowing. We want we want to do that. Reasonable Doubt is going to be the counter spell. Um, one blue and one. Two counter spells, I think, is going to be as much as you're going to need here, just to keep the high essential target safe and to stop them from making big plays. Now, um, I'm actually, the, the chat has suggested a card, and I have it in the sideboard here for uh, options here. One blue and one uh, counter, unless they play two, kind of stops them from playing some early stuff, getting their shell grid out on turn four, maybe slow them down. Suspect, we can give somebody menace and it can't block. Uh, a great new card too is um, uh, three steps ahead. Three steps ahead is a little expensive, but it does. It's another spree card that's one blue. You can target any counter spell for two blue and one, or you can create a token that's a copy of a creature you control. That's pretty cool. That only costs four, or you draw two cards and discard. Very modal. Uh, requires a lot of mana. If you want to counter spell and draw a card, I think it's a grand total of five. So you have to have a lot ready. But it is a good card. I know a few people are probably, gonna, they probably already typed their comment. Why not three steps ahead? It's there. Uh, disdainful stroke, negate, whatever you want for the, um, for the, for the counter spell right here. Charming Scoundrel is going to be your ramp, one red and one haste. And here's the battlefield, choose one. We probably just want a treasure token. We're going to swing in. Wicked roll or draw and discard. Invasion of Tarkir is going to be fantastic for us right here. One red and one. Um, battle siege, whenever it enters, Tarkir enters the battlefield. Reveal any number of dragon cards in your hand. When you do, Tarkir deals X plus two damage to other target, where X is the number of cards revealed. X can be zero. So it's already going to do two damage and then put the battle on the board. If you have a bunch of dragons in your hand, it can do four, five, six damage, whatever you have, uh, whatever you reveal. Be strategic with it. Don't just reveal your whole hand. If you only need to do three damage, only do one extra card. Now, the other thing that we want to get is the Defiant Thundermole. Because if you get this guy out and you start attacking with him, it gets bad. It gets, goes from bad to worse. It is going to really rip him down. He is a 4-4 Flying Trample. Whenever a dragon you control attacks, it deals two damage to any target. Two of these, that means when if you have like three of dragons attack and two of them are Thundermoles, guess what? That's a grand total of two for each dragon twice. Uh, so yeah, that's 12 damage put anywhere on the board. That's usually dead just from the attack and not even from the damage that we do. So brutal, brutal card. Great to flip. Probably one of the only battles that I always try to flip. A lot of them are just good for their initial effect. Lightning Strike, simple enough, but it's going to combine with a couple of other things that we're going to do here. We can target something. We can get rid of a specific card, a specific target, try to knock them down, uh, or just go face. Um, but the thing about casting lightning strike on our opponent or something card that they control and casting a counter spell against a target spell okay you see how the target well we have magda the horde master there she is one red and one legendary creature dwarf berserker whenever you commit a crime creature uh create a tap treasure token this ability triggers only once each turn we are generating treasure also from Charming Scoundrel. So we actually are going to generate a decent amount of treasure. We could also get some from Great Train Heist. So there's a few ways to ramp and get treasure here. Why do we want to do that? Because we can sacrifice three treasure tokens uh, and we create a 4-4 red scorpion dragon creature token with flying act and haste activate only as a sorcery. So a 4-4 flying with haste scorpion dragon. They look crazy as hell. Um, look at that, guys. It looks nuts. Um, and it's a great way to just ramp because just by playing lightning strikes and counter spells she's going to give us tap treasure to play next turn really really cool card and has that lovely little dragon twist on the back end right there which we really like uh sarkin soul of flame one red and one blue one uh two four dragons uh spells you cast cost one less love it human shaman legendary um whenever another dragon enters the battlefield it becomes a copy of another uh uh until the end of turn it becomes a copy except its name is Sarkin Soul Flame and it's Legendary Edition, it's other tribe. So if we put in a Stinger Back Terror, 
he becomes a stinger back terror and swings it you just have to be careful with when you do um shiv and devastator otherwise it'll be a zero zero really really good gets in dragons cheaper is it great is it card and will uh duplicate the effects of your powerful dragons stinger back terror here's where we're starting in the new territories right here two red and two for a seven seven flying trample very very good however he gets negative one negative one for each creature for each card in your hand we want no cards in our hand we want to get all these cards out of our hand um so he could be small we can plot him what does plot do that's a new mechanic as well one red and two we pay him for his plot cost and then we cast him later without paying his mana cost we can only plot as a sorcery so on turn three we can set him up to come down whenever we feel like we have less cards in our hand and we can really hurt someone with um really really good and i'm gonna show you combo with terror of the peaks we set him up he's gonna be stalking and waiting to come down uh as a seven seven big boy right there or even a five five or six six still effective bone horde dracosaur you know it it is the dragon it is the trexodactyl as it were there he is two red and three five five flying first strike dinosaur dragon uh at the beginning of your upkeep exile the top two cards of your library you may play them this turn if you exile the land card get a three one um uh dinosaur creature token if you exile a non-land card create a treasure again creating treasures creating tokens getting stuff off the top of the deck that we can play very very useful and feeds into the whole concept of the deck and the treasure sacrifice of magda getting cards getting everything we need here is the king man there he is man look at this guy terror of the peaks i have two of the old ones and one of the new one right here just for you uh two red and three five four dragon flying spells your opponents cast that target terror of the peaks cost an additional three life i mean um he doesn't even have ward it's not even like that where they can pay the ward or they can't pay the ward if they target him they will pay three life uh it's just what it is so there is a punishment for playing against him not only that whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control terror of the peaks deals damage equal to that creature's power to any target what we want to do with terror is we want to set up bone uh we want to set up sting back terror uh stinger back terror then get terror of the peaks down double terror right here and then he can come in as a seven seven if we have no cards in our hand that is amazing if he comes in as a seven seven that's seven damage to any target we can set up a bunch of them and just lay them down and do bang seven bang seven all that stuff any creatures that we put down is going to do damage it is going to rip and terror as it were really really cool stuff and he's difficult to get rid of he does damage on top of that shiv and dragon on the back end right here shiv and devastator not shiv and dragon shiv and devastator on the black back end one black uh, i mean one red and x zero zero flying in haste D enters with x counters on him great early play great late play i have built a whole bunch of treasure i've built 10 treasure or something like that and that just laid down a shiv and devastator and absolutely crushed them with terror of the peaks because it does 10 damage or do an early play and swing in for three or get three in that you need uh very very uh clutch play card right here the hydra dragon right there so that's what we're looking at um so that is the combination right there i know it was a long explanation but we have a lot of new mechanics plot crime all sorts of stuff um and spree there's a lot of new mechanics in it from otj how do you feel about otj you like it five islands 12 mountains one eroded cannon that does one damage shiv and reef and spire bluff canals right there for your pleasure uh it is an alchemy deck it is also a standard deck it is legal in both 21 creatures 13 of them dragons 10 instants two sorceries four battles 24 lands out together with a 2.5 average and a lot of treasure generation i wouldn't worry about this land to uh cmc cost right there um the one thing that i forgot to add earlier is we forgot to schoon cave it up i'd put two i'd put two caverns in there uh caverns of souls in there you could choose dragon i think the other thing is a human that's pretty much the only thing we have is dragons and humans in this to be fair um so that's what we're looking like right there again if we look into the sideways layout there's your sideways view take that away sideboard yeah shore up three steps ahead possibly a good one shock and lightning strike in case you want a little bit more removal in case you need some that good early removal ren to get cards off the top and of course maybe a few different types of counter spells and three steps ahead uh the biggest drop that we have right here is going to be the five drops honestly sarkin makes everything one less so if you can get your sarkin out early on you can actually make things pretty cheap pretty pretty cheap and stinger back terror as long as you plot him he's actually three drop you three drop him on turn three 
uh, he comes out for three, turn four. So you can set up some pretty cool plays with it. Again, dump all the cards in your hand. Make sure that he's coming out as a 5-5 five, five or a 7-7 seven, seven when you have Terror out. And boom, you get big hits, big plays right there. Not to mention that you could immediately flip something like uh, Invasion of Tarkir, swing in, do all that damage. It's really, really cool. It has a lot of cool synergies. Um, really fun. It has almost got me to Diamond. I think I'm one game away from Diamond. Let's get into it and see if we can't clutch that tonight. If not, we'll do it tomorrow with maybe some zombies. Stay tuned. Here we go, guys. Into the game. Uh, let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Make sure you tenderly press that button. I'd love you too. Let's get into it, boys. Dragon do. <laughs> oh, we got some feedback. There we go. Feedback should be taken care of now. Gotta get rid of their feedback loops. Gotta get rid of your feedback loops up in this muff. Uh, um, hey, what's up, Drift Ronan? How you doing, man? Let's keep it. Tiny Bone. Tiny Bones, uh, Drift Ronin coming in for six months. Awesome. Love to see it. Vladimir, New Blood. Boom. Uh, Eroded Canyon. No. Dragons of Tarker. Uh, Submit Zero. Bango. <coughs> All right. Tiny Bones. Who's got the tiniest little bones that you ever did see? They're so tiny. His bones. The bones are their money. That's a deep cut right there, if you understand that reference. Alright, he's gonna steal some from me here. Boom. Eroded Canyon, boom. Ray Train Heist isn't worth it. And turn. Really got a crap opener here. I actually did quite well with this uh, early, uh, this early um, play on this one. Two great train heists. I should mulligan that. Or did I draw the other one? Mag the Horde Master. Wabango. Whenever you commit a crime, I'll be able to put Dracosaur out. Uh, Drown an Icor. Counter target. Target up to one creature. Whenever you commit a crime, boom, boom. Okay, fantastic. The bones are their money. The worms are also their money. Come on, nobody knows that reference? Uh, I'm dealing with a bunch of amateurs here. Amateurs! You don't know the bones are their money reference. Third day of promotion to sir, you're a service manager. That's pretty impressive. Anybody remember the store called Service Merchandise? That's a 90s cut right there. That's probably an 80s cut. Direct removal, I would imagine. I would imagine some sort of fucking direct kill. Your cut downs, your uh, go for the throats. No, it's Blood Hustler. A drown in Icor. Boom. Okay. Swing in. All right. Yeah, it's first strike, bub. All right, let's do that. Let's do that. Hey, look at oh, look at all this shit here. All right, fantastic. Um. Let's do the time warp again.
Boom. The bones are their money. Put a 1 1 token on creature you control. Alright, he's doing that. Defiant Thunder Maw. Okay. Attacks. More damage. Boom. Hit. Alright, fantastic. Sheldrussi the Apocalypse. Alright. That's good stuff. Uh, I totally think he should... Hey, Trexodactyl's raiding in. Yeah, that's a great idea. You should do that. No blocks. Boom. Fantastic. Love to see it. Create that. Create that. Good, good, good. Love to see it. Fantastic. Let's draw. Boom. Resolve. Boom. Great. Um, how much do we need? We need four to trigger a second attack. Okay, so we do one. Great train high second. Creatures you control, untap and get a second. So we need four and three. So we could do two for him. And then four to heist him again. Okay, fantastic. Boom, boom. We do great train heist, untap everything you control. There's a second combat phase. Okay, we hit. We hit, we hit. Okay. And then we go in again, because it's not enough that you get attacked with dragons multiple, multiple times. I need to make it clear that the dragons are sky kings. What's up, Dante? 17 months, listen. My hat's exactly where it needs to be. Shout out Trexodactyl. Oh, Numbskull's coming in right now. There we go. Boom, look at that. Arnie Metal Brow. Awesome. A good win right there. You guys like that hot dragon action? Ops goes first. Man, I'd love to go first one of these days. Oh, Drift Ronin fight. What, did you Google it? Don't tell me you Googled it. Or did you know it? Did you actually know the fucking, my obscure effort? You Googled it. You Googled the bones are their money. The worms are their money too. Oh, man. See, that takes the fun out of me. You can't Google it. Y'all can't be Googling my references. You have to learn them. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. I heard there's an infinite combo. Yeah, I heard about this. I've heard of this infinite combo. Crap task combinators being just desperate by a stupid hat. Um Zavorits, the favorites. He took Sauron's ransom. I'm not trying to remain smug over it. I'd like you to enjoy. I'd like you to join me, join me in, in enjoyitude 
of the weird ass things that I say. I'd like you to be involved in them. That's that's why I want you to uh, um, let's submit to. the shore up I would like to have a shared camaraderie as to the references that I make not so much that I am trying to gatekeep knowledge from you but that I would it would be most pleasing to um, enjoy these references alongside you all right let's do three No, wait, cancel. Let's do a two-banger. You should be watching. I think you should leave, though. That's a good show. It's very funny. Who's going to get the direct removal? Who's going to get it? Mox Pearl. Also, how soon till I call a deck cowboy beep up? Temporary lockdown. Ooh. Mana value two or less. Who's that going to get rid of? Everybody? Saddle each non land. Very nice. Um, Charter course. Auto pay. There goes all my shit. There goes that. Alright. I hate these Esper decks. They're absolutely miserable. They're absolutely miserable fucking experiences. Uh, they, 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 dra dragons are very tough, but not when you're playing Esper. And all this dude has is fucking garbage. Alright, let's do this. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see if he's got it. Let's plot it. And turn. As expected, by the way, the Stinger Back Terror is a very good card. I can't show your wife the Scorpion Dragon card. Why not? She's scared of scorpions. Oh. My mom is deathly afraid of spiders. And when anything ever bad happens or she sees anything that she wasn't expecting... She, she naturally assumes it was a spider. I don't know why this is. Science has yet to explain as to why. She's got terrible um, arachnophobia. Mock Sapphire, very nice. All right, fantastic. Um, so let's try the... The Bone Horde, he, hmm, he may try to counterspell me. Well, let's see. He may try to counterspell me. No, he didn't counterspell me. He do that one. He can counterspell that one. It's plotted. No, he didn't counterspell that one. All right. So he's either going to run a board wipe or he's going to go for direct removal. I have Shore Up, which I'm not too 
Yeah, he's gonna do get lost. We do shore up. Pay one for the ping. Boom. 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 So we got the exile, we got the wipe, the sunfall, the removal, whatever we got. Yeah. There we go. Uh exile, destroy, 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 destroy. Yeah, this is uh your classic uh boring ass fucking Esper deck. That's so boring that it makes me want to tear up and die. Um Let's do that. Boom. Boom. Just gonna play removal, 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 removal. At the end of time. I don't know why people like that. I genuinely, genuinely don't know why people like this deck. Um, there's Shelter the Apocalypse. Very nice. Um, Island Cycling. Very cool. We'll draw a card. It's Slingback Terror. A terror named Slingback. Okay. So what do we do this? Reveal any number. Thunder Maw for it's equal to that creature's power. Well, we do that. And then we do that. There we go. Problem solved. Problem solved. Let me tell you, Stinger Back combined. Here's the thing, Stingerback combined with Terror of the Peaks, you could be plotting a seven damage dragon drop for zero mana. You pay three, get your terror out, drop it for seven with no cards in your hand, boom, you're good to go. Uh, very cool combo off the, off the jump with just the new dragons. So very cool stuff. I maintain a solid don't fuck with me or come in my house and I won't fuck with you policy and anything sting by me. Yeah, I don't look, I don't search out, you know, animals and insects to buy. I don't really care for insects. Um, if moths were more chill, I'd like them better. But they never seem to know what they're doing. Moths fly like they're panicking all the time. <coughs> but if you ever look at a moth... Mmm, I'll smell that hat. <coughs> if you ever look at a moth, they're very cute. They're kind of fuzzy. <coughs> Fuck. I choked a little bit on water. Um, YouTube. How many How many shame likes can I get, YouTube? Let's get some shame likes up there, guys. Did not start with a burn, which is going to negatively affect me very badly. Uh, boom. Um, boom. Very much gonna badly, badly affect me here. I need, I need a constant flow of removal. Yeah, I don't have it. I don't have it. Uh, create a treasure token. Auto pay. Boom. Okay. No attacks. Moths are huge, yes. Yeah, no, you need immediately, you need two or three kill cards immediately to get rid of this. I don't have, I don't have two or three kill cards. Uh, let's do that. Boom, boom, boom. If he's got more removal, he's got it. All he needs to do is do what he does. Boom, boom, 
Yep. And he needs to proliferate one time. Yep. There it is. <clears throat> uh, if you don't have immediate kill, I it, it's the nature of the it's the nature of the beast right now. If you do not have immediate removal for these the super aggro low level uh little guys right there, you're done. You're cooked. If you don't have turn three destruction or just can't pop them off real quick, the Phyresis Roach, you're pretty much done, man. You 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 can't do nothing about them. They're they're gonna they're gonna eat you. You cooked, partner. Don't hassle the huff. Shivan Devastator. I go first. With no early plays, I go first. Love to see it. Boom. Next. Next. Started watching that Fallout show. Speaking of cowboys. Uh, hopefully a Phyresis Roach does not pop out here. It's Bushwhack. Schwack. Do want to do want to take a look at some hydras though. We do want to stay hydrated. Brotherhood's end. Yeah, I mean that's a sideboard card. It's, you know, you do what you can, you can what you do. You know. Boom. Two. Bang. Up. Bang. Uh, we'll swing it in. We'll swing it in to ping it in. Um. We're gonna we're gonna try to do the combo here. He's probably gonna play fire inscription, yeah, as I expected. Bushwag beast is not bad yet. Hopefully, I can beat him off the jump. Um. Okay. Let's do this first. Boom. Hopefully he doesn't have a million destroy. Quote it. <clears throat> Y'all like making fun of me so much. Damn. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, he's probably going to swing it in. Another red mana, which is not great. He's going to go for it. He's probably got a pump up, which he was expecting me to block, but he's going to put the pump up in. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. So he doesn't fucking... Action, boom. Hit. Okay. If I can survive this hit, which I likely cannot, I likely cannot survive whatever's coming. No. Oh, oh, he went for the golden ring. No, don't do that, dude. Don't do that, man. No. No, dude. He tried to he tried to reach. He should have just thrown spells. It's a green. Well, I don't know. He could get it. He could do a fight. sucks yeah if he's got a burn up there it's gonna really it's gonna ch chafe my butter it's gonna butter my biscuit okay so we we pretty much got him yeah so we put down a spire bluff now we do this first Two. Uh, 
line. Get him. Reach for it. He reached too hard, man. You can't reach. Dragons will get you. They can fly. As much as you can reach, I can fly. Okay. A little bit of outplaying there. I like to see that. I like to see him get outgunned. I don't know why he went for that second, uh... He went for that second fiery inscription, which was not the right move. It was the incorrect move to do there.
Oh shit. I'm sorry. My my mic turned off. Thank you for uh thank you for telling me that. My my damn headphones touched my mic again and turned it off. Sorry about that. Was that for a while? I've been talking this whole time. I got I got to figure out some the 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 mic jack that I usually uh the mic jack that I that I usually use is on the back of my monitor, and for some reason it's not picking up out anymore. So I've jacked into my mic, which is hanging upside down above me. The thing is, the wire hangs down and touches the t the touch sensitive part of the the microphone, um, and it turns it off, which is a pain in my ass. Um, it I have a little touch here. I go first. That's shit. This is utter garbage. Uh, that's a little better. Sorry about that, guys. Please, if you don't hear me for like two minutes, I, I'm I'm constantly talking. It is very rarely that time that I'm not going to be talking. So, yeah, just, just feel free to say hello. Just came to say hello. All right, let's get rid of that. We don't need that. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, early plays. It's Sugaya666. Boom. We'll wait. Who's he gonna put down? He's gonna put down the dude. Okay. Got it. Boom. Get taxi and recycler. Put it in the graveyard. Uh, except its name is whatever. Let's do that. Next. Dragon enters the battlefield under your control. So you're just gonna play direct removal? That's fine. I expected that. You gotta, you gotta sacrifice. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta cut carrots to make stew. Boom. Boom. Fantastic. Good. Great to see. It's gonna go in. Boom. Submit zero. Let's cast Stinger back Terror. And we'll wait. And we'll have Shore up. Because he's probably going to try to play direct removal on my Stinger back. Um, he's probably, he might try to play the end here. I wouldn't be surprised if he did that. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Oh, I'm a smart guy. Oh, man. Can I call him or can I call him? I'll tell you what. Well, I'll tell you what, boys. I sure can call these cards. All right, let's do this. I knew it. I knew he was going to try to fucking cast the end. All right, let's flip that. We got him on the defensive. Now, he could just run a board wipe again. I mean, there's always that. If he doesn't, he's pretty fucked. If he doesn't run a board wipe, uh, he's pretty fucked. Um, but he could have one. I mean, they had one last time. No, you know what? He doesn't have it. I'm going to say he doesn't have it. He didn't have it. He didn't have it. He, he didn't have the juice. Damn, that was a fucking that was a fucking soul read right there. I knew this dude was running the end. With four open, I knew he wanted to run the end. That's honestly, people will say, why don't you run this mono red, Jay? You've got to have protection, man. I mean, it's good life advice, whatever you're doing. For a few more dollars. 
It is climbing, by the way. It is a positive win rate. We do our we are running a positive win rate. For as frustrating as the losses have been, they've they've actually not been that many. Um we are at about a 65. So Uh, Ops goes first. They do have some removal and some counter spells. Okay, yeah. I mean, Terramorphic Expanse. Man, they really do make some spooky cards, man. You know what's amazing is, with Magic, you can get some abstract landscape that's just basically blobs of color. And then uh, you can come up and, like, you get a landscape painter, and then you have a portrait painter, and then you have a creature painter. Like, there's so much diversity in the in the artwork. Magda's not bad. I Again, the, the issue that I had here was... Um, the issue that I was having with Magda is that... The, the, and, and frankly, the issue that I've noticed with, with crime in general is that... Um, it's a little slow. You have to put out a card to do to trigger crime effect, and then you have to put out uh, what you want to crime up. So you have to put out Magda, then next turn have the card to do a crime. And you'd think, well, I'm I'm doing a lot of removal. I'm doing a lot of killing. I, I've got all kind of shit to to uh, to do that. But you'd be surprised at how many. Hey, buggy man, buggy man, buggy man, buggy man, buggy man, buggy man, buggy man. You'd be surprised at how many times you're like, oh shoot, I don't have a. Now that I've had the the removal here, I don't have the uh, the other pieces. Um, it's 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 surprisingly frequent. Um, okay, so let's do this. Um, boom, boom, boom. We do that. Flip that. Cast that, and then we have reasonable doubt. So if he tries to do some garbage, we got plenty of garbage to do to him. She she's not an outlaw? I thought she is an outlaw. Isn't she oh no, she's a berserker, that's right. She's a die berserker. Die berserker. Tap one creature, boom. Boom. Mysterious stranger. Full bango. Okay, so this is either a counter this is either a board wipe or he's or he's in some or he's in some trouble. There it is. There's the board wipe. Still timed explosion. Oh, bang go. Mag to the horde master. Boom. Draw cards. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um Let's get rid of it. Let's get rid of that. Let's do that. Boom. Alright, if he doesn't put a flyer and he doesn't have a blue, hopefully he'll do something to lock that out and, and lock up all of his mana and get hit. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so your best bet is like crime pingers. I've noticed that. Not not so much, but targeted effects that that do something uh a little silly okay 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 he's got two all right unfortunately i have this So whatever you're trying to pull off there, man, it's not going to work. 
Yeah. So, and I'm not saying it's, listen, I'm not saying it's bad. Don't, don't misinterpret me and saying, I don't like crime mechanic and it's bad. and I don't think it works good. I'm saying it's slower than I was thinking in my head to set up crime, uh, committing a crime, uh, um, on repeat. I, I'm not at all saying that crime is a bad mechanic. It's actually a pretty good mechanic. It's actually pretty cool, and I like it. It's in my brain. Once I see it playing, it's slower than I thought it was would be. It's it takes longer to set up. Uh, so there's a shore up, um, Spire Bluff, I'm do that. Boom. Uh, use treasure token. Boom, bang, go. So how's about we plot that? Okay. Swing in. Boom. I hope he uses. I hope he puts on fire inscription. That would be great. So it'll do five damage once I put that down. Urbersk's first Kerber? Kerber. Err. Okay. Capra Demon. Tur of the Perks. Bum, bum, bum. Lightning strike. Boom. He had to take a hit there. He's going to have to do it again and take more damage. He's going to do it again. He's going to take three more damage. Fantastic. Love to see it. Urbrisk Furge. Er. Er. Boom. Took, my man took six damage to take him out. Fucking giga, giga brain move right there. Um... Absolute fucking giga brain. All right, we're going to have to call that right there for tonight, guys. I mean, a couple of top deck heroes tonight, man. Frustrating to see. Um, but uh, honestly, pretty good. I, I think the biggest issue is protection. If we're playing mono black, we're going to get really wrecked. But the combination of Stinger back with Terror, a couple of these other combos... <coughs> Not bad at all, honestly. Um, maybe chart a course, maybe one less, maybe more shore up. I think the blue ones are really going to be the stuff that we're going to have to modify and do. But mono red, you might be thinking mono red dragons. I think the correct um, at answer is going to be, is it dragons? And the answer, no, the question is, is it dragons? And the answer is yes. Until next time, guys, I've been Jay Villain, and you've been great. Bye-bye.